I've just came to the realization of a very sad and unsettling fact. Despite how amazing manual vehicles are, a lot of people out here don't know how to drive one. So I've been getting asked by friends and associates alike to break it down for him in the most simplest way I can. How do you drive a manual vehicle? So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Before we go and get into the actual car, I'm just going to explain what these parts are to you guys uh, because there's no real lighting inside the 350. There's the shifter. Make sure it's in neutral. Take a moment to observe the pedals. Uh, again, uh, this is just you know, not in a car, but in your car, you'll see three pedals. You'll see the clutch, the brake, and of course the acceleration. Uh, to shift from each gear, you will have to engage the clutch, which would mean to, you know, press it down. Then you'll sh shift, and then you'll slowly release the clutch, clutch while accelerating. So it'll be pretty much like a, like a heaven and earth kind of action with your feet. Um, I'll show you actually when you're down to shift and then when I shift it in first I'm going to slowly lift up and slowly press down okay that's the motion you want to use when you're shifting in and out of these gears even when you're shifting to neutral press the clutch down put it in neutral let it go. You don't want to just let it go because then the car will jerk. So I'm gonna press the clutch down all the way down, shift in the first, then slowly press the gas while slowly releasing the clutch. Each car has a sweet spot and you'll just have to play with the clutch and the gas uh, to figure out where it is to actually get the car to start moving. Would just shut off uh, normally, but again, if you're neutral, it's fine. All right, now that we've gone over the basics, it's time for some practical application inside the actual car. So just gonna get right in and show you guys how it actually looks in real time. So you'll notice that the setup is pretty much the same steering wheel. There goes the shifter right there. Always double check and make sure that the shifter is in actual neutral. That way, when you engage the clutch and start the car, it will start and doesn't try to, you know, send you into a wall or like make you drive in any direction. And before you start the car, make sure that you press the clutch all the way in uh, to turn the key. Otherwise, if you try to turn it, the car won't turn on. So press the clutch all the way in, make sure it's in neutral, press it down and the vehicle should start no problem. drop the handbrake then you'll be able to throw it in first and this baby will start moving keep in mind that you're not just letting your foot completely off the clutch to get the car started you're slowly disengaging while slowly engaging the acceleration if you just let it go while it was in first the car would have shut off so in small parking lots and spaces like this, you can keep the clutch engaged um, just a bit, um, just to 
make sure that the car doesn't jerk or turn off. And then you wanna keep the clutch engaged. When you come to a stop, shift it into neutral while you're at like a stop sign or red light or anything like that. It'll keep the car from turning off. And that's pretty much how you get started. Keep in mind looking at the gauge to tell you, or you can just use your ears to listen to the engine, whether you know to go up or down when it comes to shifting. Okay, so now it's time to downshift. So uh, without stopping, just you know, go down a second, clutch in, slowly accelerate through the turn like you would as if you're normally driving. You know, wait till the engine matches the appropriate revs, around three to four thousand RPMs. Shift back up to third, and then you're on your way. As a reminder for you guys, uh, if you don't have the vehicle in neutral when you come to a stop, the vehicle will just shut off. Um, if you have it in gear, um, the car will just jerk. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Put it in first, let the clutch go, then the car just jerks. You see that? All your lights will come on. Then the engine will be no longer running. It's fine because you can leave it in first, press in the clutch, and start it again if you so choose. But I like to pull it back to neutral, engage the clutch, and then turn it engine comes right back on no problem so nothing necessarily wrong about stalling or you know shutting it off it's just freaking embarrassing <laughs> All 
And that, my friends, is my how to drive a manual vehicle. If you feel like I've missed something or you something I wanted to expand upon or talk more about, please leave me a comment down below um, and I'll create a part two just for you guys. I want to make sure that everyone is informed and knows how to drive these cars because driving a manual car is probably the funnest thing I've ever done. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Always remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.